الحمد لله وصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة في الله Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa'tasimu bi habli illahi jami'an wa la tafarraqu He Tabarak wa Ta'ala says hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide uh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the path of salvation is from adhering to his rope, Hablillah. That, and as the Salaf used to say, some of the Mufassireen when they made tafsir of this ayat mentioning what is the hablillah, you know, because we have to know what that means. What is the hablillah? How can we hold on to it if we don't know what it is? The hablillah, as some of them mention, is the Quran. So that means we need to agree in our understanding of the Quran. You know, we can't have totally different understandings. How can we hold on it, hold to, on to it steadfast? It's not for everyone to just interpret everyone to go and stray. So <clears throat> to uh, gain their own understanding, their own insight, their own explanation of the divine names and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal, but rather it's a path which is a sacred path. It's the path of success. So that means we have to uh, adhere as an ummah to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the rope of Allah. And as some of them mention that this it's the rope of Allah, that it's the jama'ah, it's the main body of the Muslims. So meaning that it's the Quran and the Sunnah. And the main body of the jama'ah. And all of this comes from Nasus, comes from a text of the book and the Sunnah. And so with that being the case, that we have to come to a commonality when we're talking about we're talking about unity. That means we're, un, we're unifying based on the book and the sunnah, based on our understanding of the book and the sunnah. It's not just that we unite and we say, yes, we all believe in the Quran and some distort the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some negate the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some make resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His creation, and some distort the meanings. But rather, we have to take the path of Ahl sunnah which is the path which is straight, the Siratullahi Mustaqim, and we have to unite based upon the madhab of the Salaf. How the classical scholars, scholars beginning with the Sahaba, تابعين, تابعين, how they understood Islam and how they understood the divine text. And that's the best way and the way forward to uniting because it has to be united on the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا So all of you hold steadfast to the rope of Allah. And then he says, and do not divide. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here, He's given us a command, an amr. Wa amr yufidu wujub. Wa nahi. And He's given us a nahi. Wa nahi yufidu tahrim. Which means that the, the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to adhere to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to His rope, then that's an obligation upon us because it's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fact that Allah azza wa jal uh, prohibited us made a nahi to uh, to divide and to split 
then that is uh, a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is a command, that is a prohibition from Allah Azza wa Jal. So of course, if Allah commands us with something, we follow it. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits us from something, then we should stay away from it. This is uh, a very important concept with regards to Islamic unity. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with a class with the bad and bless us to unite based on the book and the sunnah, based on what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.